Hi everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video on 3D tracking with camera analysis, you'll learn how to exclude certain parts of your image when performing a 3D track. This becomes a necessity when there is any unwanted movement in the shot. For example, moving people, animals, cars or even flowing water. So the best approach is to predict the unwanted movement before the analysis takes place. You'll first learn the workflow of excluding areas with a mask. And then you'll learn the second workflow of excluding areas with machine learning. These are very powerful tools and both options are worth exploring. So here we have a moving shot with a dancer in the frame. Let's add the camera analysis node to set up the 3D track. Now I can tell you straight away that her dance moves would be considered with the 3D track and may potentially corrupt the final camera solve. This is quite common when you get unwanted movement in the shot. So one way of solving this issue is to limit the tracking regions with the G-masks before doing any 3D camera tracking. Select the camera analysis node and add a G-mask node using the action node bin. I'm still looking at the result view and I'll quickly create a G-mask around the dancer and her shadow. Obviously the camera is moving and so is the dancer. So you can track or manually keyframe the mask to only cover the desired area through the duration of the shot. Just a quick tip, you can create the G-mask before or after the camera analysis node as that doesn't make any difference. It all comes down to parenting the camera analysis node to the G-mask node to ensure it is considered in the analysis. Now select the camera analysis node and toggle to the camera analysis media view. So the mask is visible in this view and you can see what area will be excluded from the camera analysis. If you need to adjust the mask a bit more, you can also do it in this view. Returning back to camera analysis, you can add any additional camera data if you have any. Since I don't, I'll use the default settings with a resolution of 1 to analyse every frame. Start analysing the shot. If you scrub looking at the media view, you can see how the tracking points have been ignored in the region within the mask. If you switch over to the camera analysis scene view, you can move around the 3D scene and see the area of the image that was excluded from the 3D track. And as I'm sure you've noticed, the same region is also excluded from the point cloud. Finally, looking at the camera analysis view, you can see how the point cloud and the camera move are unaffected by the dancer moving in the shot. So that's how you can exclude areas from the camera analysis using G-masks. And if you're happy with the accuracy of the 3D track, you can continue the workflow of creating scene trackers from the point cloud and integrate any objects into your scene. Please refer to part 1 of the series if you need a refresher on the complete 3D tracking workflow. So here we have a shot of a car travelling on the road. Similar to the previous example, the car introduces a secondary movement which could interfere with solving a 3D camera. You could use a G-mask to exclude the car, but as another alternative, you can also utilise Flame's powerful machine learning to exclude this object. Select the camera and add a camera analysis node. Go to the camera analysis menu and toggle the viewport to the camera analysis media view. To exclude objects with machine learning, click the pull down menu to see the various choices. Firstly, you can mask out the sky. Usually I recommend letting the camera analysis analyse the entire frame, but sometimes the vastness of the sky can affect the analysis. Secondly, you can identify masked humans with machine learning. This can be quite a big time saver if there are loads of people to exclude from the 3D track. Finally, there is the mask all option which masks out the sky, people, animals, vehicles and water bodies. 
you also have a threshold slider to increase or decrease the coverage of the machine learning. It's worth mentioning at this point that once you perform the analysis, the machine learning masking will lock out unless you reset camera analysis. Continuing with the 3D tracking workflow, you can set any additional camera data or use the default settings. Now analyze the shot. When scrubbing the media view, the car and the sky have been excluded from the camera analysis. If you switch over to the camera analysis scene view, you can move around the scene and see that you only have the road and the hills that form the point cloud. There are no points that make up the car or the sky. Finally, looking at the camera analysis camera view, you can see how the point cloud and the camera move are unaffected by the car or the sky in the shot. So that's how masking with machine learning works with camera analysis. If you're happy with the accuracy of the 3D track, you can continue the workflow of creating scene trackers from the point cloud and integrate any objects into your scene. And as I mentioned earlier, if you need a refresher on the complete 3D tracking workflow, please refer to part 1 of this series. In the next video, you'll learn a cleanup workflow using 3D tracking and projected surfaces. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. And thanks for watching.